Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to the episode of Let's Play Football Manager 2019. Up next, we have a game against Barnett in our Skybet League 2 uh, division, so we'll get to that as quickly as possible. We're currently, currently sitting in third place, which does mean we would have automatic promotion to Skybet League 1, which, hey, pretty awesome. Barnett is actually down here in 21st spot, although we did just struggle against a game uh, against Oldham here. Took that one to penalties. Uh, that was in the checker trade game, but I mean, they're 22nd, so they're one below Barnett. So it's no guarantees here, of course. Um, see what we can do. Yeah, we won that one. How was it? How many penalties did we shoot? I think it was, we won eight to seven on penalties or something like that. Does it say here somewhere? I don't know if it, it may say here. I'm just missing it possibly. But uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good result, all things considered. Players reach yellow cards limits. Yeah, so this is this is for the check and trade trophy. They've got several players that can unfortunately be out uh, because of that. Does it say how many? Yeah, two yellow cards. So it's only takes two yellow cards to get a, a suspension. That's that's pretty tight. Although any yellow cards, I suppose, is you're not supposed to get a lot of yellow cards. Is <laughs> the summary of that? We get a lot of yellow cards in our games. It seems like we do play a lot of uh, hard tackling and things of that that nature. All right, we're about to get the draw. So there's going to be nine teams will go in the half for four matches. So there's only four matches left of this. That's pretty awesome. So we will be playing Bradford City, which is a League One team. Now, we have been doing pretty good against League One. In fact, all that's left uh, are League One, right? Yeah, so um, we'll see. I mean, we've done we've held our own against League One teams. So I think there's still a good chance that we could, we could do pretty well here. They're sixth currently. In League One, though, so they're going to be a pretty good team to go against. Either way, I'm just glad we made it this far. I think it's pretty awesome. In fact, let's check out the uh, competitions. How far are we supposed to make it? Reach group stage. We're well past group stage, so board is very happy with us there. Also, reach first round. We're well past the first round here. You know, we're into third round. And speaking of which, we're playing Everton, which is a premiership team. So we're probably not going to go any further in either of these, most likely. I mean, this one we have at least a little bit of a chance. This one, I just can't imagine there's any way we get past Everton here. But hey, that's not the point. The point is, we played well. We got as far as we could, further than we were expected to get, and I'm pretty happy with that. So uh, I think we've played had a really, really good season overall for, for the tournament play, so, so overall. Obviously, it would have been nice to get a little bit further in the Carabao Cup, I think, because we were knocked out in the first round. I think that was our expectation, so we didn't exceed anything. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. And I want to say, was it Oldham that knocked us out in the Carabao? Uh, let's see here. Com uh, competitions. Um, yeah, Oldham. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, the team that we just beat in Checker Trade is the one that knocked us out there. We sh definitely should have beat them there. In fact, I guess, I want to say that one ended up in penalties as well. I can't remember. It's been too long. Um, uh, you're injured for a couple of days. we got a scouting meeting. I guess we go look at the schedule. Let's go check that out real quick because I'm I am curious now. It was very early. Yeah, we did, we lost that one in penalties. So that's twice we've gone to penalties against Oldham, and uh, we've won one. They've won one, and then we also won our, our league game. So we've actually played them three different you know competitions, um, and it's been a pretty even matchup all all said and done. But I'm, I'm, I'm hoping this Barnet game goes pretty well. I think it should. I guess we're going to add Get Stuck back in, back in, which is fine, I think. It's a lower team. We should be able to be pretty aggressive with them. In light of Preston head coach John Coleman's admission of interest in signing John Adams, what are your immediate thoughts on the situation? Have a lot of time for... Uh... Sure, we'll discuss things. Why not? Does a good relationship with another head coach help in this situation? Are transfer deals easier to sort with someone you can trust? Yeah, sure. Definitely. Uh-oh. Nugent taken ill. Pritchard taken ill. Oh, no. People are getting sick. Well, we're going to send you to the doctor. People people getting sick. Some sort of virus spreading around. Uh, People trying to, you know, have a, come to an agreement with us. Sounds fine. McFarlane here playing, you know, pretty good training so far. 
Lindley, not so good. All right, that works. So we're focusing on a lot of defending and stuff over here. Kelleher blocks, or Kelleher fails to attack game to stay back at all times. Okay, eh. fair enough. All right, so we've won, oh no, they've won one and they've drawn one. So not actually gone well against Barnett so far. It's kind of crazy that we're playing well against the higher ranked teams, but not so good against the lower ranked teams. All right, what do we want to do here? Um, I think we'll leave Wiseman in, but Carl, I think, uh, can come out for Kelleher. We'll leave Pond in. Osborne, uh, we'll leave you in, buddy. And we're going to try and give you some more chances, but I'm not, not really holding on to much hope that you're going to be able to do much. Cool can swap out for Matthews. Oh, not Matthews, I'm sorry. Wrong person. Swap out for Douglas. Oh, but Cole's actually been playing better. Oh, duh. yeah, Douglas is there. Um, Arresti's actually injured, so we're going to swap you out for... I'm bringing Nick here. And instead of Cole, bringing back in uh, uh, Matthews. Okay, that'll work. Right-hand side, we'll keep Dudley in for now. We'll see what he can do, but we can't, can't keep going forever because, I mean, he's, if he doesn't start playing better, then that is what it is. And then we'll go ahead and bring in Rooney back in here. Oh, actually, Lloyd's pretty tired. Oh, is he injured too? I'm, he must have been injured. So we will bring in Williams for, for Lloyd. All right, I think that looks good. Subs look okay. We'll go with that. All right, guys, come on. Um, let's keep our run going, guys. All right, we're going to be in the reds. Barnett is going to be in the blues. And we are off. Yeah, this team has, has gotten our number a little bit. They've, they've played a little bit better than us in these matches so far. We've got a throw in here from uh, Wiseman up to Rooney. Rooney's going to get it back to Douglas. Douglas. Over to Matthews in the middle. Matthews going to be able to push up a little, a little bit. He's going to try and do nothing with it, unfortunately. I'm not sure what he was trying to do. I'm going to cough it up. That's what he's doing. Uh, Cole Thirst is going to get it all the way over to his other player, who I can't pronounce his name, who does get a goal. Tenth goal of the season from Raphael here. That is not a good way to start this game five minutes into it. They definitely have our number for whatever reason. That does drop us down to fourth because of goal diff at the moment. Um, yeah, not, not good at all. Come on, guys. Uh, we should have gotten that one. I thought that we were going to get that one on the attack here, but not quite. And they're just going to kick it right up here for Richards. Richards is going to get a pretty good wide open shot here probably. Nope, he's going to get it over to the right-hand side. But he's going to get it over to his uh, Simeon Akinola guy for another goal. Just a quick, easy two goals for Barnett. Not sure what's going on from the boys right now. They've played so much better than this lately, and they're just... Coughing it up right now. Come on, guys. Get back into this. Demand more. All right. Dudley's going to push this one up. Uh, it's going to get almost taken away from him. Dudley's going to try and... What's he going to do with it? Get it over to Houghton. Houghton's going to get back over to Dudley. Dudley's going to cross it over. Not cross it over. He's going to cross it over to the other team. That's what he's going to do. Pawn is able to get his head on that one, though. Over to Osborne. I'm not sure what Osborne can do with it. Osborne, this is your chance to show me that you're capable of doing more. Williams is going to get it all the way over to Dudley on the right-hand side. Dudley with the powerful kick. Had a chance to go in there. I mean, I would have loved to see that go in to give you some, uh, you know, just you deserve it, buddy. If you, if you think you can play well, I want to see those kinds of shots going in. Deep kick here. Osborne's going to be able to end the area to kick it, pick it up. Getting it over to Matthews. Matthews got some space. Got uh, Is that Dudley up in the right-hand side? No, it's Houghton. Dudley, far right side, though. Dudley's got some space, unfortunately, right off the other player. Not able to get it over to our guys here in the middle of the field. Just not quite playing, you know, efficiently or, you know, just the, the, the precision that we need to be playing as. I mean, this is a very low-ranked team. We should be doing way better than this, guys. Come on, Matthews in the area, not able to get his head on it. And here comes Barnett again on the attack. And here comes, they got a couple players in the area. Man, come on, guys. I know you can play better than this. Got a corner kick here from Barnett. 
Kelleher's in the area. Houghton's able to pick that one up. He's going to kick it pretty deep. Osborne is over there. He's uh, going to get it taken away from him, though. Tripped up there. And that is the end of that highlight for us. Man. Not looking too good, guys. All right, off the wall here. Don't think we're going to be able to click that one, though, unfortunately. He's going to kick it over here to uh, Santos on the right-hand side. Tried for a tackle there. Nothing going. And thankfully, Neil was in the area to pick that one up. But Neil cannot do this all by himself, guys. You guys got to clear this out better. Do something better. Not give up these free kicks this close to the goal. Man, I have no idea what is going on. Barnett just has our number. They're terrible elsewhere in the league, apparently, but they have our number. All right, we're going to move up to very attacking. we got to get back into this somehow. Wiseman with a kick. Wide right. Nothing going for it. All right, Osborne's there to pick his, get his head on that one, but unfortunately only as far as Owen Evans here for, for Barnett. And here they come on the attack again. I mean, we're not playing all of our starters, but we're playing mostly starters, so definitely should be playing better than this. Kelleher's able to get in the way of that one. Douglas is going to get over to Osborne on the right, or the left-hand side, I should say, over here. He's going to kick it pretty deep up to Rooney. Rooney all the way far right side to Dudley. Dudley's got some space. Going to get it to a nobody, unfortunately. Rooney's in the area, but unfortunately not able to collect it. And then here comes Barnett again. And here comes Raphael, their guy Raphael, who's just got all the space in the world that he wants, can do whatever he wants with it. Thankfully, Neil was able to get in the way of that one. Not going to lie, I'm a bit frustrated with the way the boys are playing today. I mean, granted, this isn't a way game, but man. Fourth yellow card of the season for Akinola here. We got a corner kick here from Matthews. Pond! There we go. Able to get us at least a little bit back into this. A goal just before halftime to cut it down to two goal lead is... Absolutely critical. Stop the bleeding a little bit. Had to do something there. A couple minutes of extra time, though. It's about to time out here. Absolutely critical goal there just before halftime. We needed that one. Pond, thank you very much for that. Yeah, I'm disappointed, guys. Where's your passion? Do you even want to win this? All right, here we go. Come on. We got to get an early, early goal here. If we get an early go here in the first, you know, 10, 15 minutes of this half, I will I will feel like we're right back into this because that will mean we have gotten some of the momentum back. Houghton's going to get it over to Matthews. Matthews going to try almost get tripped up there. Osborne's going to collect it. He's going to take a shot. He's going to get over the bar, but thankfully that is going to be a corner kick for us. We've already scored on one corner kick. Can we score on another one? we got Matthews here with the kick. He's going to get pretty deep over there. Unfortunately, too far. Is Pond going to be able to get there in time? He is. Unfortunately, I thought it was going to get taken away from him. He's going to get over. Oh, uh, tried to get over to Douglas, but it gets inter interrupted. Matthews over to Williams. Williams is going to try and take a kick. Pretty good. Oh, two good chances there. Nothing going for it, though. Man, that should have gone in. Oh, they, they got a free kick. That's what happened. Oh, man. Looked, looked good a couple times there. Osborne throw into Douglas. Douglas is back over to Osborne. Over to Matthews. Uh, able to get that one back. He almost coughed that one up. Dudley's in the area. Not able to get his head on it. Wiseman. At the top, uh, over to Houghton. Dudley with the shot off the goalkeeper. Man, Dudley just can't get these in. He's, he's he's getting them on target, but the goalkeepers are able to get those deflections. Okay, up to Dudley. Dudley's got another chance here at the goal, but the goalkeeper just able to snatch that one with no problem whatsoever. I got another. Uh, oh, well, that Matthews was able to disrupt that one. Dudley to get it back over to Pond. We got a highlight here, guys. Come on, let's see what you can do with it. Dudley's going to get it up to Houghton. Houghton over to Matthews. Matthews, you can try for a kick. Nope, Williams. He's going to try for a kick. It is, looks like it was too high anyway, but they got it hands on it, so it's going to be a corner kick for us. Here comes uh, Matthews with the corner. Pond is in the area where he scored from before. Not able to get the score this time, though. All right, that is uh, time for a sub here. Bruni is just not playing well at all. Honestly, getting... Um, it's possible McFarlane could give us some, some extra energy that we're just missing right now. So we'll bring him in here. We're still going on very attacking here. Let's go ahead and say... Show some passion or something. 
Everybody's fired up by the feedback. Come on. We've got 17 shots, 13 on target, and only one goal. Uh, absolutely atrocious, you know, finishing from the boys. Another yellow card for their side of things. All right, got another corner kick here from Houghton. He's going to kick it all the way over to Pond, still in the area. That one should go in. Guys, get it in. What is going on? What is going on? How is it? How is their player offsides? I'm so confused. I don't know how that went against us, to be honest. I'm not sure if I understand that one at all. That should have gone in a hundred different times. I mean, that was... Uh, it's the story of the day, though. I mean, just terrible, terrible play so far. All right, Wiseman, you've got to come out for somebody. I guess we'll bring Carl out. I mean, I mean, he's not good on that right side, but Wiseman's got a yellow card and not playing good at all. At least Carl... He's got he's tall, so if we get another, you know, corner kick opportunity, maybe he can get his head in the way. <laughs> get it in there. Dudley getting his first yellow card of the season. So many opportunities. 20 shots. Just <sighs> I don't know what to say. No reason we should be losing this one. Absolutely no reason. We can't go more attacking than we already are. Osborne picking up a yellow card. There's a free kick here from Barnett. Matthews gets it away, but unfortunately Richards is there to pick that one back up. And there they go. Just again, only headed as far as their players. Just not able to get anything going here. Got a bunch of players here on Santos. Come on, guys. I know you can play better than this. Right, we got in the way of that one, but unfortunately only so far as Rafael, their star player here. And it's going to be another throw in for them. Only 12 minutes left. Literally nothing else we can do, I don't think. We just, we've hot and able to get a good steal there. He's going to try and uh, going to get it up to somebody. He's going to get it up to McFarlane. McFarlane with some fresh legs. Is he able to do anything with this? He's going to get over to Matthews. Matthews is in the area. That should have gone in. <laughs> you do that kind of setup like that. Those are the ones that have to go in. We are going to get a corner hit here from Hot. And Houghton's going to get all the way over to uh, nobody, unfortunately. And that is the end of that highlight. Man. There's really no no way to explain this away, is what I'm trying to say. We're bringing Collins, see if we can get a little bit of life on that right-hand side. <sighs> Carl with a kick here, nothing going. He's going to get over to Williams, though. Williams with a wild kick. Absolutely nothing going from that. We don't need to see that. The fans are starting to leave the stands. I can't say that I blame him. We've just played so... <sighs> we deserve so much more from the way that we... You know, we played well. We've gotten a lot of shots, just nothing to finish. We cannot get these to finish. And giving up those three early goals just absolutely killed us, you know. And here we go. We're going to about to give up another goal here, I think. Oh, should have given up a goal, honestly. If that had been a little bit more on target, I don't think our goalkeeper would have gotten there. Another free kick here. Um, I was going to say push forward. I don't know what else we can do at this point. They're going to throw in from us. Carl's going to throw it into McFarland. Into McFarlane, but unfortunately it's going to get taken away from him. Collins is able to get that one back. He's going to get all the way up to McFarlane over here on the right-hand side. Is McFarlane going to get ready to get across here? Nope. Off the player. Collins is able to pick that one back up, though. Over to Matthews. Matthews is trying for a wild, crazy shot right off another player. Barnett's just playing an absolute, I guess, good defense. I mean, I don't know. We've had, what, 13, 14 shots on target, so we've had opportunities. So many opportunities. Wow, this is just <laughs> this is heartbreaking to see. Oh, man. Richards is offside. Only three minutes of extra time here. That is pretty much it for the guys. Collins pushing it up a little bit here, trying to get something going here towards the end. He's going to get it over to nobody, and that's kind of the story of the day. Houghton's going to get over to Douglas. Douglas over to Matthews. Matthews is trying to take a sh Somehow got a goal. I'm not sure how he got it past the goalkeeper, but we got it in the back of the net with only a minute and a half left here. Probably too little, too late, if I must be honest. 16 shots on target, 26 shots, and we've only got two goals. Absolutely. I, I, there's no words for this. This is absolutely terrible. We are getting a lot of fouls against us, to be fair. Here's a free kick here from Barnett. And that's it. That's the game. Man.
I honestly don't know what you say about this kind of game. I don't know what to say. There, there is nothing. There's nothing that can be said here. I mean, how do you get that many shots and not, not get more goals? I guess their goalkeeper is just a. They must be using a premier level goalkeeper or something. I don't know. I mean, this is insane. I mean, at least we got one extra goal towards the end to get a little bit of help with the goal diff issues. We only lose one on the goal diff now, but still. Yeah. Refs even gave us an extra minute there at the end. I don't know what to say about that one. That one. 16 shots on target, 26 total shots. Yeah. What do you say about that? Well, we just, we cannot beat these guys that are low ranked in the division. I don't understand why that's the case. We are knocked out of automatic promotion now. We still got a lot of season left to go, to be fair, but. If we can't even win games against these guys down at the bottom. Look, Oldham is now in automatic relegation right now. And we've struggled against them. So, don't know. Don't know. Well, the next game you guys will see will be... Da -da 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 -da. Wow, we got three away games in a row. So, the next time you, game you guys will see will get to Wycom here in the, on January 1st. Uh, one thing I will do real quick, I'm actually going to go ahead and advance while we're here just to see what happens on the 18th when we get our new youth facilities. We'll at least go that far and kind of see what if that changes anything for us. If we get far enough up in the youth facilities, um, like rating, rank, uh, uh, rating, I should say, is what I'm trying to say, um, then I think it's rank, rating two or whatever it is. We're at zero right now. I think that's when we can get an under 23 squad. We have a lot of players currently that would be very beneficial in that. Be able to get some play time and things like that. Uh, yeah, Beasley, I would I would actually like to... I might start you a little bit here soon. Bristol Rovers, 8th place. Well, the way things have been going, we should be dominating in that game, right? We, we fail against the... Lower ranked teams and we dominate against the higher ranked teams makes no sense, but it is what it is. Could hide his poor movement. That's funny. Um, come on, 18th, let's go. Nugent resumes the light training. We have one of the worst yellow card tallies in the league. Well, we've been doing a lot of hard tackling, to be fair. Hey, Pond actually got player of the week. Well, congratulations, buddy. Cool, tight hamstring. That should not be a problem. We should be fine. We still have uh, Douglas for back there in the defensive midfielder. Saving the game. Now, Bristol Rovers is just outside of playoff contention right now, so they're going to be looking to, to get a win against us so they can get up there into uh, to the playoff set. Your facilities have been upgraded. All right. Well, let's see. What does that do for us? So we have basic youth facilities, but we're still zero on youth level. So what do we need to do to get better on youth level? Do I just need to advance? Let me advance a little bit to see if it changes anything. Scouting meeting. I'll advance to the next day. See what it does. All right. Uh, club. Facilities. Still use zero. Really? Do we need to talk to the board to get the youth level increased? Um, increase youth level.
We're not currently willing to consider this. Okay, so we actually have to do it like as a manual thing. Okay, fair enough. Well, that's unfortunate that we can't do it. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in there. When we come back, you guys will have seen, well, there will be three games that have passed, and you guys will see us going against Wycombe here and see. Hopefully, we will have some wins under our belt. I do appreciate you watching, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.